Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to construct box plot. I will show you two ways. The first one using a manual way, handwritten, and the second one is the most easiest and faster way using Excel. So let's continue. Now let's construct the box plot manually. Here we have a uh, quantitative data. We have here uh, 20 data uh, and to start constructing the box plot, the data that we need, the first one is the minimum value. Minimum value because the data has been ordered here. I know that the minimum value is 25. And then the second, the largest value or the maximum value is 99. Now, to find the first quartal, yeah, we use um, this uh, formula here, yeah, location of the 25th, um, the first quarter data. It would be n plus 1, the n, because it's 20, so it's 20 plus 1 times 25 over 100, which is equal to 5.25. This is the location of the data for Q1. So what is the value for Q1? It's just, let's see that 5.25 uh, falls between 65 and 70. So the exact value of Q1 is just 65 plus 0.25 times 70 minus 65, which is equal to 66.21. Now, to find the Q2, quartile 2, we have L50 equals to 20 plus 1 times 50 over 100, which is equal to 10.5. Now, the value of Q2 is just 10.5, meaning is between 75 and 75. Uh, it should be 75. Why? Because here, the value of Q2 is just 75 plus 0.5 times 75 minus 75. 75 times minus 75 is 0, so it's just equal to 75. So this is the value for Q2. And then the value for Q3 is just L75 equals to 20 plus 1 times 75 over 100 is just equal to 15.75. So what is the value? The value of Q3 is just 15.75, meaning between 85 and 86. So it is 85 plus 0.75 times 86 minus 85 equals to 55, sorry, 85.75. Now we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. The next value is the interquartile. It's just equals to Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is 85.75 minus Q1 is 66.21. So the value of IQR is 19.1. From IQR, we find the lower limit is Q1 minus one and a half times the IQR. So it's equal to Q1 is 66.21 minus 1.5 of 19.1 oops yeah 19.1 okay i'm sorry should be 19.1 equals to 
37. Now, the upper limit. Upper limit is equal to Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR equals to 85.75. Plus 1.5 times 19.1 is just equal to 115. Oh, I got a correct here. The upper, the lower limit is not 35, but instead it's 37. Okay, so here we have the minimum the maximum, the Q1, the Q2, the Q3, the IQR, lower limit, I mean whisker, and the upper limit of the whisker. So we are um, ready to construct our box plot. Since the information are not seen, I'm going to write down again the numbers that we need to construct the box plot. We have the smallest number or the minimum was 25. The largest number or the maximum was 99. And then Q1 we have 66.21. And then Q2 was 75. Q3 was 85.75. For the whiskers, we have the lower limit to be 37 and the upper limit to be 115. Let's start the box plot with the box itself, which um, represent the 50% of the distribution of the data. So X1 was, uh, Q1 was 66.21, Q2 is 85.75, and Q2 would be uh, nearer to Q1, yeah, 66. Point two two seventy five is around nine, and this two is is around ten. So let's just put the median more to the left around here, probably. This is seventy five, and then let's draw the whisker. Is one hundred fifteen, and to this part is thirty seven. Since the minimum number is 25, so it is obvious that we have an outlier here, and it is usually denoted as an asterisk, and the outlier is 25. And based on the box plot here, uh, it's um, skewed to the left, yeah, with the uh, tail is longer in the positive side, uh, on the right side. So that's about our box plot.